I'll be showing nine new features in OneNote. This includes desktop, Mac, Android, and iPad. So let's get started. The first new feature is kind of a fun one, and that is the ability to embed TikToks directly into OneNote, similar how you can embed YouTube videos. So I'm gonna have a new page here, and I'm gonna switch over to a TikTok account. Now, some of you might not know, but I make a lot of TikTok videos. And here are some of my videos here. I'm gonna open up one and I'm gonna paste it into OneNote. So here's passive aggressive email tips. This is a fun one. Here's the video. I'm gonna to go to the top and copy that hyperlink. And now I'm gonna switch into OneNote. So I'm here in OneNote and I'll paste that link and immediately it renders that TikTok video. And now I can just go and hit play to send an Outlook email that fires that a reminder TikTok on the other video. And what's nice is a lot of people wanna organize TikTok videos. Well, I can organize them all like this. Here's a bunch of my OneNote tips. Here are some of my Excel tips. And you can paste links on your mobile phone, on iPad, on Android, so your TikTok links can come anywhere. And you can also paste them into any platform that OneNote has. So this works on desktop, web, Mac, iPad, Android, iOS, etc. The second new feature is the long-awaited math tools in OneNote for desktop. So I'm here in OneNote desktop and I have an equation right here. And I'm gonna to go to the insert menu and there's a new button called math. We've brought these math tools that already exist in OneNote for Windows 10 app and the web into desktop. So I'll click the math button and the math pane opens up and you can see it's converted this into an equation. I can choose solve for X and it will solve that equation. And I can also get the steps for solving the linear equation. So we'll click this and now I have all the steps listed right here. Now let's say I wanna insert these steps onto the page here. I'll go and click this button here, insert steps onto the page, and now I have all the steps and I can move them wherever I want. I can hit the back button here and go back, and this time I can choose to solve for Y if I want. And similarly, I get the steps for the linear equation. They're right here. Also down here in the lower left of this pane, there's a settings. I can change the settings for my numbers, real versus complex, or angles, degrees versus radians versus gradients. And I'll hit the back button. There's also right here a little link to give feedback if you wanna give feedback. One note, we don't yet have the immersive reader or the graphing or the practice quiz built into these math tools, but these are gonna be rolling out in the coming months, so stay tuned, this is only gonna get better. And for those of you that are really into math, just make sure you've explored our equation tools. These aren't necessarily new, but we have a ton of different math tools here. If I click equation, I get a bunch of options right here, and there's a specialized equation toolbar that pops up. So lots of different options if you're gonna use math in OneNote. <clears throat> and one last thing, we also have the same math tools on the Draw tab. So if you go to the Draw tab over here on the right, you'll also see that same math button. So you can open up the math pane either from the insert menu or the draw menu. The third new feature are updates to where we have the format and background commands. If I go to the draw menu here, you'll see format background. I drop this and I can choose my different backgrounds like this. I can also set the page color now right here. This has all been consolidated onto this draw menu to make it really easy for people who are using ink. The fourth feature are improvements to undo, redo for people who are drawing and inking. So I'm gonna go here and choose a nice red pen and I'll make a happy face and we'll get nice, smiley. I'm, a, I'm an incredible artist if you haven't noticed. Now let's say I want to undo things. I can go here and now there's an undo menu so I can undo each part of my face and now there's a redo as well so I can put the little face back. It's a simple thing but we didn't have the same undo redo for digital inking in OneNote for desktop. That has now rolled out and is added. The fifth new feature is a refreshed OneNote Android. So I'm here in OneNote for Android and there's a brand new first run experience right here you can see it. There's also a new grid view that has rich previews. And this is the grid view I'm looking at here. You can still also switch back from this to the classical list view. So here's your list view of the same thing. So you have a grid and a list. And here's some of your notebooks and your sections just like you'd normally see in OneNote. In addition, we now have a new set of sorting and filtering capabilities. Here you can see that I'm gonna filter Filter my OneNote pages. You can see at the top, there's a little OneNote pages there, and I can remove that, so sorting and filtering. You can also create notes with dictation. This is our brand new dictate experience. 
really, really nice. You can see I'm dictating the little pulsating microphone down at the bottom. There's some settings you can choose and some also direct sayings you can try out. Another really cool feature is the ability to extract text from images. So I'm going to take a photo right here of a piece of paper. Immediately it extracts the text, similar to Office Lens, but this is now built right into OneNote, just like you see here. In addition, we also have the ability to select multiple pages and move them. So I selected a couple pages. I'm going to move them to a specific section in a different notebook. Really handy. The sixth new feature is Math Tools in OneNote for iPad. I'm here in my iPad. I'm going to tap this equation to select it, and then I'll tap the Insert menu, and way over on the right, there's a Math Tools button. Tap that right there, and it opens up the Math pane. This has the same set of tools I showed earlier. So I have my equation here, and I'll tap Solve for X. I'll quickly get the answer, but now I can actually show the steps for solving the linear equation. Tap that, and there are all the steps and now I can insert those on the page. So I'll just tap over on the left, and then I'm going to insert the little tap button there, and there are all the steps. So very similar to what you saw earlier, if I wanna solve for Y, I can scroll back up, hit the back button, hit it again, and this time choose solve for Y, same thing. So iPad math tools are now rolled out. We don't yet have graphing or the immersive reader or practice math, but that's coming very soon in the future. The seventh new feature is backup in OneNote for Mac. So what I'm gonna do first is update my page here with Saturn. I'm gonna choose a blue pen, and I'm gonna have a little arrow that points right to the inner core of Saturn, and then I'm gonna draw a little star. Now I wanna back up this page. So I'm gonna to go to the upper left and open up the OneNote menu and choose Preferences. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna choose Backups. It's a new option. And you'll see here, backup change notes now. So I'm making a backup of those notes. It'll make an actual copy. And now what I'm gonna do is close this and just show where that backup copy lives that I just made. So I'll go to the file menu and choose open backups and then choose backups and go into my notebook. And you're gonna see here that there's a new backup that was made. There it is right there. I'm gonna open that backup and it's reopening up the thing that I just backed up. So now you can make backups in OneNote for Mac. The eighth new feature is auto syncing of attachments on OneNote for Mac. So I'm gonna to go to the OneNote menu here and I'm gonna choose Preferences. And now I'm gonna choose General. This new option, auto sync attachments, means by default it won't sync your attachments down to your Mac, but you can check it on and then it will auto sync, so you have the choice. The ninth new feature is Teams integration with OneNote, specifically what's called the OneNote Chicklet, which is a nice little way to launch OneNote directly from Teams. So I'm gonna flip over to a OneNote page that I have. Here's my page in OneNote for the web, a team meeting with Bill Lumberg. I'm gonna share this page, so in the upper right, I will click Share, and I'm gonna copy the link to this page. Now I'm gonna switch back into Teams. I'm gonna to reply to the TPS report status meeting and I'm gonna say, here are the notes. And I'm gonna paste that link with a control V. It adds the link, but now this thing here, we call it internally a chiclet. So there's some Microsoft lingo for you. And you can say, who can edit? So I can open this up. I can set the permissions. So this makes it really easy for anyone who sees this message when I post like this. Now they can just click that chiclet and they can access the notes. And this works for different types of OneNote links that you paste from different clients as well. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.